Hey, uh, avant-garde film people. So I thought that I'd put out an intro video. Um, you know, originally I was going to have this class be in person. Um, and then due to, uh, you know, a couple students kind of messaging me with some hesitation, decided to make it online. And then I was going to have just the first couple classes be in person. But um, there's still some, you know, some hesitancy there uh, from some of you. So what I'm thinking is, you know, except for maybe some critique days um, to be decided later in the semester, uh, where we could meet either in room 11, uh, which is the room that we have access to, um, or at my venue healer, because we have a screen and projector and stuff, and it's pretty fun. Um, and it's like 15 minutes from here. And uh, so we could meet there alternatively um, at certain times in the semester uh, to screen the films, or we could do it online. You know, we'll just see what COVID's like. It's like this endless unpredictable wave at the moment. So thankfully this class is so visual heavy. Um, you know, there were days baked into the syllabus anyway that you would have spent filming outside of class. Uh, mainly in class is to go over premiere um, stuff one-on-one -on -one, um, and, you know, to screen the films. So you're just gonna have to watch some of your films, some of these films on your own time. Uh, and we'll have maybe like a group Zoom discussion um, if it works with people's schedules. Uh, do like a doodle pool on that, or I could just open up the discussion tab on Canvas and you can post feedback um, for each other's work and for work that we watch throughout the semester. So this class is pretty evenly divided between watching and discussing um, avant-garde films uh, from the 1920s, uh, even earlier through contemporary time period and making your own films. Um, so, uh, in my background is Un Shen Andalou, which is a classic um, Louis Bunuel and Salvador Dali film, um, famous for the eye slicing, uh, which was actually like a, like a sheep's eyeball that they used. Um, anyway, so, uh, so I'll be posting the films to watch um, and doing an intro video um, for how to tackle the first, um, the first project, which is gonna be the found footage project. Um, so, you know, if there are any issues though, any questions with Premiere, um, message me. Uh, there's a form you can fill out in order to rent equipment. We have a few DSLRs, but honestly, if you've got a decent phone, um, you are good to go. Uh, there's so much you can do with Premiere in terms of, and After Effects, which we'll dabble. And if you wanna get into data moshing, and some glitch stuff, we can dive into that too. Um, but there's so many, tools you can use, um, you know, just in post, um, regardless of the quality of what you're shooting with. Um, so yeah, so I'm Matt and you can message me anytime, just text, don't call, just text anytime um, with questions, concerns, happy to do one-on-one -on -one Zoom calls. If you've got like questions that I didn't cover in any of these tutorial videos, but this class will be largely asynchronous. So you can really follow through at your own time and I'll just be constantly posting, uh, you know, these, these assignments. Um, and yeah, so any questions, message me and here's to a, hopefully as the semester progresses, things get a little bit more normal, but honestly, I found it really helpful to channel like the weirdness of this time we're going through into art of both film art and and visual work and um and experimental film is awesome because you can really fuse together uh different forms of art making um so i would say you know like with anything just pour it into your art because that's ultimately what matters and why you're here so not like here like on earth but you know at heron so yeah, so uh, go to virtually meet you all and um, hope to hear from you soon.